اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look at moderation analysis. Now up till now we have assessed as part of our structural equation modeling we have assessed the measurement model whereby we validated the lower order constructs the higher order constructs. Next we started on our structural model assessment that is the first step was to assess the direct relationship between variables. In the last few sessions we looked into the mediating role or how to assess the mediating role of these variables. in the relationship between internal marketing and organizational performance in this particular session we are going to look into how role ambiguity and role conflict moderate the relationship between culture and organizational performance now previously you would have seen that we had moderators here in the model even in the last mediation analysis video you would have seen those moderators here now i would like to address one big misconception here A number of time I've been asked by scholars and that can we do or shall we do separate moderation and mediation analysis in our research the answer is no the essence of structural equation modeling is in complex modeling now if you were to do separate analysis for each relationship or each type of relationship whether moderating mediating or just the direct relationships the essence of structural equation modeling is lost hence you should have a complete model when you are assessing the structural relationships that is your mediators present and your moderators present and then you assess the direct relationships your mediating relationships your moderating relationships now in this case i just removed it so that i can tell you how to add them so that if somebody is just watching this particular video and he hasn't watched the previous videos then he knows how to use it he or she Now moving on R A yes R C yes let's move it here Now in smart plus 4 if you want to add the relationships that is the moderating effect what you need to do is let's first hide all every indicators so what you need to do is just use connect drag from your moderating variable to the relationship that it moderates drag from your moderating variable to the relationship it moderates so these two moderating variables are moderating this particular relationship here so let's connect these one here with op now your model is ready to run now let's go to calculate bootstrapping Now a few things that I would like to address here that I did not in the previous sessions the sub samples as we all know recommended is 5000 in a latest 2021 book the reference will be shared in the description by here at all they have recommended 10000 but for now I'm just going to stick to 500 now let's say we do complete now here is confidence interval method now you've got bootstrap to studentized bootstrap and bias corrected now now the preferred one is this one because this is more stable so we are going to use this one bias corrected and accelerated bootstrap for now we are going to keep it to default fix seed pls setup now this is path why path because you are assessing obviously the paths and second thing it it gives you a better r square value now once you are done with all these settings let's start Now here are our results. So if you look here, let's say we move this one here just for the clarity I'm going to move this one here and I'm going to shift this one here. If you look here, these this is your beta or path coefficient, this is your p value, your beta and path coefficient now both are insignificant. So the relationship is not moderated at all. Neither by role ambiguity neither by role conflict so both moderators are not moderating this particular relationship now let's go to report here look at this not even close to 0.10 now in this case your moderating variables are not moderating the relationship that is we propose that role ambiguity and role conflict will, will weaken this particular relationship here ccnop well they are not 
Now, in this case, you do not need to go any further and assess the slope. But if these would have been significant, any one of these or both of these, then you would have gone for slope analysis. But in this case, both are insignificant. We do not need to go for slope analysis. In one of the previous videos on moderation that I did just for the sake of understanding basic moderation analysis with the theory of moderation, we did get significant results and thereby I explained in detail the slope analysis. But in this case, our results are insignificant. Now, where do you get your slope? You can obviously have a slope in Excel and that's, uh, well, I prefer one in Excel. But in this case, where do you get your slope? Go to calculate, PLSSCM algorithm, path, and that's fine. I'll share the link to the earlier video in the description. So if you go to report, slope analysis, and look at this. This is for role ambiguity, and this is for role conflict. Now look at this, the lines are almost parallel. Now the steepness of gradient does not change with the change in the role ambiguity, that is lower role ambiguity, or higher role ambiguity. Same is the case for role conflict. Hence, you do not need to report or present your slope analysis when your moderating effect is insignificant. I hope this video would have helped you understand how to run moderation in Smart PLS4, how to assess the output. Let's go to reports, bootstrapping, look at this, both insignificant. This is how you assess or look into the output or interpret the output. And if this would have been significant, obviously you would have gone for slope analysis, but in this case, it is insignificant. I hope this session would have helped you understand moderation analysis. The earlier session will be shared in description. I plan to do a more detailed video on moderation with significant moderator and how to report when your results are significant. Thank you very much.